Hi folks, Matt here at Rent Camper. This is a short video to show our, our Rimor 98P works. Let's go and have a look inside. In we go. Right, so this is a four berth motor. You can either use it at the rear for two singles or it does turn into a big double bed. Under the middle sheet, there is a board that slides out and there's a spare cushion there that fits onto it and turn into a big double. Up here, there's a USB port so you can charge your phones up. Plenty of lighting. These are all individually switched. There is a switch under there, look. That turns the top lights off there. Roof light, that just winds up and down. While ever you're driving the motor home, make sure none of the rear windows are open at all. Lots of storage in this motor home. That's the door through to the garage. Storage under that side. Storage under there. Then in the corner here, we've got your heating and hot water controls. So what you've got here is the outer dial spins, show you, see the light come on, that's just turn the hot water on, so if you turn the outer dial anti-clockwise, that puts the hot water on, see the yellow light that's lit up, once that yellow light goes out, it means you've got hot water, to turn it off, just go into the offsetting, into the middle, and then if you want the heating on, you turn it clockwise, so all you need to do is go down one, down one like that, the green light will come on and the heating will start working. The centre bit, look, that's the thermostat, so five is your highest, obviously going all the way down to one for your lowest. While ever you've got the heating on, it also warms the hot water up at the same time, so if it is the winter time and you're using the heating, you've also got hot water, so you ain't got to worry about that. It takes about 20 minutes for the heat for the hot water to warm up, and you're good to go. When you're not using it, just turn it off. That's that. Working his way through. Kitchen. The hob, the drawers look. If you just these middle bits just push up, push the drawer. Got the oven at the bottom, so all you have to do is push in, turn anti-clockwise, and you leave it clicking. Wait for it to ignite, and your oven's on. There is a light that side as well. Plenty of storage. You should have everything you need. So there's all cleaning equipment and all sorts in there. Kettle and pots and pans. The blinds, they're all the same. You push these in. the blinds clip up and then you push that down the blind goes back down the fridge on this motor room is quite easy to use so you've got a control panel turn the fridge on with the on button keep that pressed in and you'll see it light up I'm currently plugged into electricity so see the plug socket that's showing that the motor room and the fridge is working off the electric. The fridge will work off electric, gas, or battery for while you're driving. So this centre button, if you keep that pressed down, so you start flashing. So you can move it across with these arrows, look. So plug, set, plug socket, battery, and gas. So if you're not plugged into electric and you want it working on gas, 
just press enter this is your temperature setting you don't need to touch that three is perfectly fine so just press enter again and that's your fridge waking on gas if you want to alter it so if you get to your campsite keep the button pressed in go across to your plug circuit press enter press enter and the fridge is now working on electric now the battery setting is just for when the motor home is running itself it will not work at any other point so while you're driving so if you unplug your electric press the button keep it pressed in start to flash lock put it onto the battery press enter press enter now that will flash because the engine is not running so once the engine is running your fridge will then work on your battery setting i say it again that is literally just for while the engine's running so do that get to your campsite plug in put it on the plug socket press enter press enter your fridge is working <coughs> button there fridge and freezer waking his way down this is your main control panel so this controls the back of the van at the moment i've got the lights on so the three top buttons if you press them that turns all the lights off press them again turns the lights on all the lights are individually switched so you'll find lights which is all over the place this side plug socket that's telling you that i'm plugged into electric if you press the information button which is the eye that tells you there look so this bit here that's your fresh water so when you fill the van up with water it's obviously full and as it works its way down that'll show come down towards the yellow when you get to the yellow point you need to be filling the water up this one here is your leisure battery power so basically keep an eye on that if you're not plugged into electric if that starts getting towards the bottom you need to be plugging into electric the top one is for the actual van so you don't need to worry about that and then the only other button on there is that one so if that lights up that's telling the waste tank is full so all your water that goes through your sinks through your plug holes in your shower and the sink in the bathroom the waste water goes into a tank so if that light lights up it's telling you that tank's full it needs to be emptied i'll show you where that is when we get to the outside of the van the main switch on this panel is that one so it's got a little tap on it so when that's turned on when you put a tap on you hear a pump running that puts pressure to your taps so without that without that on you don't have any pressure to your taps i always say to customers that if you're going to use the sinks the shower flush the toilet turn that button on you'll have your pressure once you've stopped using it turn that button off if you go out and leave the van make sure that button's turned off it's just to say to precaution just in case you get any water leaks or anything like that uh, say so lights press to your taps information all everything's on there the light button is also down here so you can turn them on and off from there as you go out of the door 240 volt plug socket there bathroom this motor has got a separate shower the taps there one way for hot one way for cold just lift the tap up and the water comes out same as that one then you've got the toilet so so the blue button there that's a flush so once you've used the toilet you can press the blue button and that flushes the toilet and then under there the grey button that slides towards me so the waste that then goes into a cassette so once you've used the toilet flushed it slide that across towards me that opens up a hole and the waste goes into a cassette on the outside of the van i'll show you how to do that when we get outside tablets on there there to keep the toilet fresh so 
when you collect the motorhome, there'll be some of those tablets in there. When you've emptied the toilet, all you do is put two of them into the bowl, open the grey flap underneath the toilet, drop some of those tablets in, take them out of the packet, and that'll keep the toilet fresh for you. The light switch is under there for the bathroom. And then there's always cleaners and things like that in. There we go. Front dinet area, so you've got a table here. Um, this moves all over the place. It's got some brackets on it, so you can mm -hmm. move it into the middle of the van. You can turn it round underneath. There's some brackets that you can lock off. So that's there. So you can basically have the table wherever you want to put it. Two extra seat bolts there. Smoke alarm and everything. TVs are here. TV runs off 12 volt. So you don't need to plug plugged into electric for the TV to work. You will need to tune it in. I can't guarantee a signal. Um, the remote control is in that cupboard up there. You'll have to tune it in every time you stop. If you get a signal, you do. If you don't, you don't. It's also a DVD player. So you can have your DVDs on. There's also a 240 volt plug socket up under there. Storage at the front. Both of the front suites travel around. I'll show you how to do that when we go around outside of it. There is also a fifth seat belt under there, which is not something we use. That's basically the inside of the van. Say loads of lights. Let's move.